Hey girl, hey! I am back with my second video. Today will be a video about my end of the season winter coat haul. So I love coats, guys. I believe coats really make your outfit in the winter time. So I am a huge, huge coat proponent. I have tons of coats in the closet. But one thing I just love to do is at the end of the season, go out and scrounge around for all the deals on all the coats that I've probably seen since the beginning of the season and probably just said, you know what, I'm gonna wait to see if this coat is still here at the end of the season because I have a bad habit of spending a lot of money on coats. So that is our video today. I also wanted to introduce you to my assistant, Kate, I couldn't really do a lot of these videos without her. She helps me with bringing all of my things to me, making sure I have all of my items right at my fingertips. So today she will be on this video helping me with the coats, showing you guys the coats, okay? Before we get started, I do wanna kinda tell you what I have on today. Of course, you can see I have on my New York Yankees ball cap. Um, I have a few of these. I love these ball caps. Um, They're great when your hair isn't the way you want it or just to throw it on with an outfit. It, it makes an outfit. It kind of gives it that extra. But I actually have on a Shein plaid shirt and a Shein um, little short outfit piece. I kind of just put these on when I'm lounging around in the house. I have a few of them. I have a few few plaid shirts. It just kind of keeps me warm around in the house and I just lounge in these two-piece short sets. I think they're super cute. And I also have one of the, a find that I just fell in love with this winter. If you don't have any, I suggest you go out and get them. They are amazing. They're the best things I think people have made for your feet. I was a big house shoe wearer, but I would notice that my house shoes would just get ran down. So I'm like, okay, what else can I use? So I found these little sock house shoe feet warmers. When I tell you, it's probably the best thing that I ever, they've ever invented <laughs> um, because my feet stay cold. <laughs> but so that's what I have on my feet. So you know what, without further ado, let's get into the video. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell and comment below. So my first coat that I'm going to show you guys, once again, I'm in my study. I have not changed it around yet, but the first coat is a Pajar, okay? It is 80-20 down feel. It also has a fox fur hood on the back. This out on the outer is nylon. When I tell you that this is super, super warm, super warm, I love this thing. It has the high low at the bottom, so it's lower in the back, higher in the front. It has zippers on each side that you can have up or down. I pretty much wear mine up because I just like how you can kind of see what I have on underneath. It zips and buttons. On the inside, you have tons of pockets. On both sides, you have pockets. This hood, you can unzip the hood so you can wear it with or without the hood. There's a zipper here. I have already worn this. Um, I didn't think that I was gonna have to wear this anymore this year because it's starting to get a little warmer, but I wore it, we um, got pretty cold a couple weeks ago and I wore it. Um, when I tell you it fits snug, this is an extra small. I'm really tiny, so this is an extra small and it still fits really nice and snug. It's super, super cute. I wore it with some leggings and some tennis shoes and I think I had this ball cap on, to be honest. But, you know, you can wear it without the ball cap. You can, you know, wear it with jeans. Um, I have it on in this video with jeans, a white blouse, and some brown tinnies. Or, you know, for me, you can wear it with some jogging pants, 
a sweatshirt or a hoodie and have the hoodie coming out. I love that look when you have the hoodie coming out of your coat. But with this already having a hood on it, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably just wear a round neck sweatshirt. But super cute. I'd probably always dress down in it. Um, so that is the Pushar. My next coat, I can't speak enough about this coat. It's, ah, this is my favorite. One of my favorite finds. This is a Nicole um, Benister. This, oh my God, this is nylon on the outside and leather. So it has leather here on the elbows, black leather, and it has leather here. I love the zipper. I love this silver on the zippers. It just gives it that extra mm for me. Uh, when you open this up, oh my gosh. This on the inside is down feel, it's duck down feel. This here is rabbit fur. And then on your hood is fox fur. This is also snug. You can also take this hood off. It, there's a zipper in here where you can unzip the, the hood. This is very snug. It's a shorter jacket. So as you can see here, when I say warm, like it needs to be below zero if you put this on. This definitely has to be dry clean because it is fur and leather. So you cannot clean it any other way. Um, you can take a wet cloth and wipe it off if you get something on it because I'm sure you don't want to send it to the fur cleaners all the time because when you take it to the dry cleaners, they're going to send it to the fur people. But this, oh my gosh, this is very, very expensive. It um, it was originally $2,000, but I got it for $700. So I did spend a lot on it. But like I said, it was one of those things that I had been looking at and so it went on sale and they had my size, which is amazing because a lot of people seem to be extra small. So that is the Nicole Benisti, okay? This here, oh my God, this is super, super cute, guys. Um, for this, I, you know, would wear it. I, just, I would dress down pretty much. Um, in the video, I wore it with some thigh high boots, some really cute thigh high boots, some leggings, and then a sweater dress on top that had a collar to it. It's super cute. It's lower in the back. It's got a diagonal button up, okay? It only buttons. This comes really up far. I didn't know if this would, you know, be that warm, but it actually is. It's a very cute puffer warm coat. I love the blue. It just pops any outfit. I had it on with all black, okay? And I mean, it's just wonderful. And I didn't hardly pay anything for it. I got it from Misguided. I think I might've paid, I don't know, $15. But um, so very, very inexpensive, but a lot of bang, okay? With the color. I got a lot of compliments on it. It looks so chic on. It was just amazing. This here is from Marcella, another on sale outfit. And I have not worn this. As you can see, the tag is still on it. I think I paid $130 for it. It is 100% wool, okay? It is warm. The thing about this is the buttons are very low. They're way down here, so you're gonna have all this neck out. So for me, I, um, if I was gonna wear it in the winter, I would definitely put a scarf up here to, to help keep this part of me warm because all of this is out. Um, but to be honest, you can dress this up or dress it down. Um, I pretty much wanted it to dress down I think it's super cute with some jogging pants or some jeans, rolled up jeans or some really baggy jeans and some tennis shoes, a ball cap, or you know, you could wear it with um, a hoodie. So this I would wear with a hoodie, just like a plain gray hoodie or something and have the hoodie out. I would wear it open. I wouldn't button it up. This is a baggy fit, so it's not a tight fit at all. It's really baggy, which is what I was looking for. 
it is so chic on i just love it in this video i have it on with about a ball cap okay and i have it on with some jeans and some tennis so i do plan to dress it down but totally can be dressed up okay uh my next find so some people may not be fur people but i am um i love fur um i live in a very cold place so they come in handy for me um i do have a couple of faux fur pieces i do not think they keep me as warm but this is so fun this is fox fur and it has a hood and it's a vest, okay? But super, super chic, guys. I had this on with the with the black leggings and the um, the thigh high booties and my sweater dress. But I used the sweater dress as a top. But I'm just gonna slip it on really quick with this. It, I mean, it, it's just amazing. But you could dress this up too. You could put it on with some cute booties, a nice sweater. If you're going out for the evening for dinner, you know, put it on, you know, have your Chanel purse or YSL or whatever it is you choose to carry. And it will totally dress up, put it on with some leggings or whatever, and it'll totally look super, super cute. Um, I have a couple of other coats. I didn't have them planned for the video, but I thought they were noteworthy to talk about. Um, so I have a coat that I got from J Lux. Now I have never shopped there until this past season, but this is super cute. I love this big collar. It is a puffer coat. It was on sale. I think I paid a hundred dollars. It is belted. You can wear it unbelted or with the belt on it. Um, or like tie your belt back here and have it open if you have on you know like a cute little jogger outfit or whatever I had it on with some slip-on shoes but you can belt it like that I love this big, big collar I just think that you know it just gives you that extra you know like fly girl look <laughs> um, so super super cute coat I love the color it's a nude color it'll go with anything it's a long coat but it was another find for me this winter. I've worn, I've worn this a few times. I love this coat. Um, the next one here, the next one here is my rag and bone. I paid full price for this. It is 800. I love the color. It's such a, it's like an orangey red. It's not like a true red red. I love the lining on the inside with the different color. I've worn this once. It's, it's a thin puffer. It's not like a thick puffer, but amazingly it keeps you warm. So I did wear it on a cooler day. It does have buttons going down so you can unbutton these buttons right here or you can button them. Of course, once again, I like to keep it open so when you're walking, it kind of swings. It's so cute, guys. Um, the pockets, everything like that, it is something that I would wear dressed down. Um, I don't, I would never wear it dressed up. So anything that you think, you know, you would want to wear tennis shoes, you could do the little booties, the little mid-size lug boots with the thick heels, super cute. Uh, I think I wore it with some white lug boots and um, I had like some leggings on and then I wore a sweatshirt with a hoodie. So just some ideas. Another one I want to mention that is super, super cute. I did not know what to expect. So this is the highly coveted Orle coat that's on Amazon. I was seeing it like everywhere and I was like what is that it's super cute um so I got one I got one and I got the yellow I don't have a yellow coat but as you see this zips all the way up on the side so it kind of gives you that open here or you can zip it down and close that up I wear it once again I wear it open for that extra oomph to me it just makes the coat look super cute this coat is 
Ooh, super duper warm. Uh, it was only, I paid full price. Full price, it was $139. But you have these here. Those zip up. You have these big pockets here that kind of puff out from the coat right there and the bottom of the pocket right here. This coat, I get a ton of compliments. And I got it right off of Amazon for $130. I highly, highly recommend it. It is super, super cute. I also got one for Kate. She has the same color, so they have them in little kids. So we have matching coats. The hood has like this little, mm, little it's not fur, but it's like a very like soft material. Super duper cute. I get asked all the time, where do we get these coats from? So, definitely out of any of these coats, this is a must have for $130. It's super, super warm, super cute. And you're gonna get tons of compliments. And I love the yellow. Um, I've got one more find and then I am done with the video. Thank you, Kate. So this is another coat from Misguided. And I only paid, I don't even know if I paid $20, but it's a puffer coat. It fits super big. This is the extra small. It has, I love belts. I love belted coats. You can dress this up or down. I love this big old collar. A lot of people complimented me on this coat. Um, so definitely a must have for the price of just like $20. And I mean, to me, it looks like you've probably paid $300 for this coat. So, hey, you get a lot of bang for 20 bucks, okay? What, what more can you ask for? A $20 coat? So these are the coats. This is my end of season coat haul. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And once again, here's my assistant Kay. And we would like to thank you for watching our video today. Please like, subscribe, subscribe. Hit, hit the bell, bell. Comment, comment below. below. Thank you so much.